Okay, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today I wanted to spend a couple of minutes, uh, really, and this message is for, I guess it could be for experienced bee beekeepers, but for me, I'm really uh, going into my second year of beekeeping this year. I'm excited about continuing to learn, but I really wanted to send this message to all those new beekeepers, uh, really how to look at frames, not so much how to read a frame, but uh, how to make sure that you protect your frames and pull them out of the hive and maneuver them the right way, put them together the right way so that your frames will will last. Many of the frames that we use, uh, you know, are, are wooden frames. Uh, I'm in a season of putting together in my, the off season a lot of brand new wooden frames. Uh, but I will tell you, one of the main challenges that you have with these is making sure that you handle them properly. If I, I have learned this year that if uh, if you don't do a few things first when you get into the hive, you're going to be really challenged with making sure you protect those frames and they don't fall apart on you. That'd be the worst thing. And I've had that happen several times. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And uh, I'm going to show you a few things to just keep first it. season of beekeeping, one of the best things that happened to me was uh, being able to um, you know, borrow some equipment from uh, very good friends of mine. That uh, One of mine is actually my mentor here and he's uh, you know helping me really get started with beekeeping, but you're most likely going to run into some frames. I mean, here's a great looking frame that uh, is not really all that old, probably a couple of years old, but one of the things you'll notice is most people use just a nail at the end. This one happens to have two nails, which is awesome. But one of the things that I have really uh, focused in on this year is and here's another one this one's got one nail in it just an old frame um, the challenge with this is if somebody didn't put these together if you didn't put them together then you don't know how much glue is really within these joints and if the only thing holding them together is a little finished nail your chances of this frame coming apart when it's fully loaded down this one still has some nectar in it but uh, when it's fully loaded down or it's full of brood if you lose both sides of this and it starts to come apart you've basically lost somewhere between five to 6,000 bees potentially, brand new bees that would be emerging, which is, you know, that's almost, a, you know, just sort of a package. So um, please be aware that these little, you know, one nail is not gonna hold it most of the time. Here's the other thing. If you look at <clears throat> different types of utensils, you know, that you would leverage hive tools you're going to probably run into hive tools like this you'll see these all the time i love this one uh, you'll see j hook just a simple j hook um, i like to file these down so they fit within the frames a little bit better but I'll, that's on a different video you'll see this type of um, you know holder that can grab from the middle which i'll probably start to use a little bit more and then you also see tools like this now, a lot of times i wondered what in the world is this thing well it's actually it's actually the hammer if you get in a situation where you need to knock a nail back in place you're supposed to tap on this with that end now if this is full of bees i will tell you you want to do as little tapping as possible uh, in my experience so one of the things that i like to do on these if you get in a situation you'll even see in the ones that i just showed you let me bring these back I have gone in and reinforced these old nails with a couple of staples. Um, I can't re-glue it, but it's a good frame. I don't want it to come apart, so I've made sure that they're all reinforced with an extra staple. So, might be something you consider. Here's something else. When you're working a hive, especially when I was first learning how to do this, most people are going to come in uh, just like me uh, and really want to start inserting this and leveraging and pulling pulling this up so that the frame comes straight out just like it's you know easy to do no problem here's the issue when this thing's full of bees first thing they do is start to propolize every single one of these and lock them in place so i highly recommend coming in and breaking apart finding a way to break apart every single one of your frames in this manner before you start prizing on this very much. Also keep in mind, if you do push up too much on this, then it's turning that frame at an angle. So the bottom of this frame could uh, actually kill your queen if she's a wall walker and she's on the side. So you wanna be careful with that. 
but um, you can see on here this is these are frames that I have recently made and I've got a stack of them right here but I really make sure it's got a ton of glue I put staples in them I uh, glue is the key the staple or the nail is really just to make sure that it's glued together well so um, just keep that in mind when you're dealing with frames because uh, so many times especially on these YouTube videos you see people working frames constantly and you don't see that many come apart but in reality uh, in reality it's my experience it's, at least in my first year I had several of these frames come apart because I don't think they were really put together really you know all that well plus I wasn't uh, as knowledgeable as I needed to be on the best way to be able to leverage and break those apart before you start prizing on them and breaking the frame so hey just be aware of that I wanted to make this kind of a public service announcement for all you beginning beekeepers like me save yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of trouble uh, you don't want a frame failure I would make sure you have lots of glue that's the key if you've already got frames put together and somebody gave them to you make sure that you probably go back and reinforce them without splitting them and make sure that the frame's not something that's going to come apart when it's got a lot of honey and resources that the bees have worked hard for right before winter or even worse a lot of brood that you're going to lose if you split that frame so hey keep that in mind if you like subscribe god bless